I'm Paradetta, and every week I'm bringing you a new nerdy crafting video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any new projects. As you've probably already guessed, today we're going to be making a Friends-inspired DIY project. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the iconic yellow frame that's on the back of Monica and Rachel's front door in pretty much every episode. I am a huge Friends fan, I have grown up watching Friends and I absolutely love it and I was super, super stoked to watch the Friends reunion and absolutely had the best time ever. So I wanted to bring this Friends DIY to you guys so that you can join in the friends fun with me too. All right, let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is protect our surface. So I'm just grabbing some parchment paper. You can use wax paper, anything you want to protect your surface. And I am just taping it down so that it won't move when I start rolling out the clay. I'm using an air dry clay to make the frame. I'm using the DAS, 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 I have no idea how to say it. But this way we don't have to bake any of our clay and it will just air dry. Next, you'll wanna make a slip that will help connect and smooth out our pieces later when we're attaching them together. To make this slip, all you need to do is put some clay into a Tupperware or bowl or something and mix it with water. I'm using about a three to one clay to water ratio, and it does take a bit of effort to get this down to the consistency that you want it to be. So keep stirring and you'll get there. You'll know it's right when most of your clay pieces have dissolved. Now it's time to create the base of our frame. So we're gonna just grab a whole hunk of clay and you're going to roll it out with a rolling pin or pretty much any like smooth cylindrical surface that you have, a pop can, um, anything like that a wine bottle, it works. You're gonna wanna roll this out until it's a pretty thin consistency. We wanna make sure that it's not too thick because we want it to dry quickly. The thicker your clay is, the longer it will take to dry. I think I did mine to about an eighth of an inch tall, something like that. Then you're gonna take the template that I have linked down below for you guys, print that out and cut around the edges and that will make our perfect template to get the correct frame shape that we want. So go ahead, link down below and download that free template. Then after you've cut the outline of your template out, you're going to stick it on top of the clay that you've rolled out. I put a little bit of the slip underneath the template to help it stick to the clay. Don't put too much on there, just enough to get it to stick. Now it's time to cut out our frame shape. Just grab an X-Acto knife and you can trace along the edges and this will give you a nice guide to help get that correct frame shape. The circular parts are a little bit tricky, but just take it slowly and you'll get it. If you mess it up, you can always adjust and make them more circular later. Once you've traced all the way around with your X-Acto knife, you should be able to just peel off the excess clay that you've cut out. It should come right off. There may be some jagged edges, but you can smooth those out later with some slip. Now that we've removed all the edges, I'm just gonna grab a pencil. You can use a pen or back of a paintbrush, anything you have on hand. And you're going to trace the inside lines of the template. You're just gonna press down really gently so that it can leave an indent on our clay. And this will give us some guides of where we're going to put our next pieces. So don't push down too hard, just enough that it will show through the clay. And you're just gonna go ahead and trace all of those lines that are on the template and leave those indentations for our next step. Now it's time to remove our template and you will find that some of the paper may still stick to the clay. You can easily just pick that off. And if you have some that is just not gonna budge, doesn't matter, we can paint over it later. So um, don't worry too much if you have paper sticking. Now it's time to add our details. You're gonna grab a piece of clay and you're just gonna roll it out into like a log or a coil and make sure that it is a thin coil and not a big chunky one. It will really change the look of the frame so you can kind of do it however you want. I did mine kind of smaller to give some more room between them, but if you'd like yours more chunky, you can go ahead and do that because it's your thing. Now that we have our coil rolled out, I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and I'm making little cross hatches on the underside of our coil. These cross hatches are gonna make it so that our clay sticks better to the other clay, and that way once it's dry and it has something to adhere to. 
Then I'm just gonna dip my finger in some of the slip and I'm going to put it on where I did the cross hatches just to give some extra adherence. This is like our glue. Once we do that, I am going to place the coil along the traced lines that we did earlier. I'm starting with the top curly cue because that takes up the most space. Make sure that you are placing your coil so that the cross hatches are down to make sure that those do stick to the clay. Placing this along the traced lines that we've done earlier makes a really good template and kind of a guide to where these need to go. It makes it super easy to follow. Once you have that placed along the edges, you can push down so that it kind of adheres a little bit. And then you can take the edge of a paintbrush or anything else. I started with a larger paintbrush here and I'm gonna switch later to a smaller one because I think the smaller one helped um, connect the edges better. But what I'm doing is I'm taking slip and I'm just putting it on not too much because we don't want this to take forever to dry. Then I'm just taking the edge of my paintbrush and I'm connecting the pieces of clay together so that there's no like holes or like lines in between them and just kind of making it look like it's one consistent piece. Then you're just gonna continue to do this same exact thing, roll out a coil, make some cross hatches, add some slip, then pick the line you're going to outline on your template and place the clay there. Then you're just gonna take your slip and your paintbrush and connect the edges together to make it look like one consistent piece. You can kind of do this however you want. It's really free form and the squiggles of this are just like really fun and you can kind of make your own how you want it to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think everybody's just gonna look a little bit different and it'll be their own spin on this cute frame. From there, just continue to do the same exact thing on all of the lines that you marked. Once you have all of your coils placed and where you want them to be, you can take some slip to help smooth out any of the rough edges that you may not have caught before. And so you just kind of use your paintbrush and make sure everything is connected. Then it's time for our waiting game. We are just gonna sit and wait for this to dry. This clay will dry within 20 to 48 hours. If you wanna be safe, you can wait 72. You'll know that the clay is dry because it will turn white. So if you still have any gray areas on your frame, you're gonna wanna wait longer for it to completely dry. So here's that white color that you're looking for and you'll be able to tell it's completely dry because it's all white and no gray. Then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some yellow spray paint and we're gonna spray this down and make it bright yellow. I just took this outside and placed it in a cardboard box so I wouldn't get yellow spray paint everywhere and I spray painted every inch that I could with yellow spray paint. Don't forget to get the edges. One coat was perfectly fine for me. You can add more if you'd like, but one was perfect. Once the yellow paint was completely dry, I took some clear gloss spray paint and I sprayed that over the top to kind of seal it off and to give it kind of a nice shiny look. I also sprayed the back of this as well with that clear gloss to make sure that it would be sealed on the back. You can add the yellow if you'd like, but I didn't add the yellow to this because no one's gonna see it. Then once that's completely dry, it's time to hang our frame. I'm using command strips, I think that's what they're called. You just connect them together and stick it on the back of the frame and then you use the other sticky side to stick it to your door. Super easy to do and it holds really well. So then I peeled off the backing of those and I put the sticky edge onto my door. And yes, of course, I have a purple door. It's not a tablecloth that I got from Party CD at all. Once you have it stuck on your door, you have the perfect iconic friends frame to show off. It just looks so cute and I absolutely love it and it gives a little bit of fun nerdiness to your home decor. I am really excited with how this frame turned out. I think it turned out pretty much as close to the original as I could get it using air dry clay. I think that this turned out pretty awesome and I'm really excited to put this up on my front door just like they do in the show. I think it's gonna add a fun little touch to my apartment and it's a perfect piece of home decor. If you like this video, you can click right over here for a playlist with all of my nerdy home decor projects. And click right up here to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next week for another DIY project where we get crafty and nerd out.